The average woman uses 12 cosmetic products a day. The average man, around six. This equates to nearly 200 chemical ingredients a day, just from personal care products. The cosmetic industry has been an industry where you're innocent until proven guilty. When it comes to things that can potentially be toxic to you, to your children, to the planet, I think we need to take a different stance here. Unfortunately, most of the products that we put on our bodies contain chemicals that are linked to cancer, hormone disruption, skin toxicity, allergies, asthma, lots of different health effects. This is truly this industry that people are being impacted by every single day. It's especially important that we get it right and we make sure these products are safe. So if we're already exposing our unborn children to these chemicals, now they're spending a whole lifetime soaking in bubble baths and slathering on soaps and lotions and baby creams. What's going to happen to them as this accumulation grows over time? What's going to happen when there's more and more exposure? We are really a generation of guinea pigs. One of the things we know about breast cancer is that higher exposures to estrogen throughout a woman's life increase her risk of breast cancer. So we're very concerned about chemicals that act like estrogen. And unfortunately, cosmetics contain many of them. Parabens is an example of a chemical that is a weak estrogen. And it's used in so many products that we're getting many, many exposures just to parabens in a typical daily beauty routine. And if you go and talk to the industry, they will tell you, oh, dose makes a poison, it's a really tiny level, it can't hurt you. Well, the fact is that when you're talking about hormones, you know, hormones work in your body at parts per trillion levels. So if you have a chemical that's mimicking a hormone, that if you're looking at a part per trillion or part per billion level, well, it does make sense actually that really low levels could be having an impact. This face painting kit, um, we tested it, it contained lead, and it, it says on it, hypoallergenic, yet it contains allergens, non-toxic, yet it contains toxins, uh, FDA compliant, which means nothing.